Well, good Sunday morning, little Miss Sleepyhead. 8.30? You've never slept in that late before. I was exhausted from yesterday's big birthday party bash with my sister, Sugar. You two had a great time. We need to thank Uncle Richard again for his great detective work in locating your fraternal sister. First, Daddy, I'm too young to go to college. Second, I'm a girl and would therefore be in a sorority, not a fraternity. No, 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 <laughs> never mind. Well, the point is that you two have the same mother named Kansas and the same father named Ned, and you were both born at the same time in the same litter, your biological sisters. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. We're S-I-S-T-E-R-S -S sisters. How did Suga get her name? The name Suga is the way people in the South pronounce the word sugar, which, of course, is a sweet crystalline carbohydrate obtained from the juice of various plants. <laughs> well, that was very nice of Uncle Bill and Aunt Nancy to throw you to a birthday party at their home. What were the highlights of your birthday bash yesterday? Oh, too many to choose from. But if I had to choose, I'd say first was playing with my sister, Sugar. We ran and ran, and then we ran some more. She'd run, and I'd chase her. Then for some strange reason, I felt like running, and she'd chase me. Then we'd end up wrestling each other while trying to figure out who should be next to run and who should be next to chase. It was just like what we used to do in our whelping box when Corey and Brent weren't looking. Oh, really? Then what happened? We eventually got tired and thirsty, so we got a drink. Sugar has the world's biggest water bowl. It's huge. That's known as a pool. Perhaps. Anyway, this water bowl you call a pool circulates and returns non-chlorinated fresh water. Sugar had to explain to me how to get a good long drink from the pool. I was a little hesitant at first, but then I eventually got the hang of it. My crazy sister Sugar told me the best tasting water is a few inches below the surface and it's even tastier if you add fizz to it. Then it was birthday party time! Yahoo! We put on our birthday hats! Then we posed for a few pictures! We did a few tricks, and then we listened to you guys sing a horrible rendition of Happy Birthday! Birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Sugar and Abby! Happy birthday to you! Then the moment came that we waited for all day! The eating of the cake! It was the best 
I ever had. It was banana and oatmeal with peanut butter cream cheese icing. Yummy! My favorite! Aunt Nancy got it from the Gourmet Dog Bakery. It was so tasty, me and Sugar tried to swallow it whole, and we ended up making a mess on the patio. It wasn't a problem though, we cleaned it up real good. In fact, I don't think we left a crumb. And me and Sugar almost licked our plates into the pool. <laughs> Yummy! What happened next? Well, we then got our presents. First we got some pretty pink flower hats. Then Sugar and I agreed that if we got some kind of furry bird as a present, that we'd take them into the yard just in case you guys tried to steal them from us. Well, that's a good plan. What did you get? makes a honking noise when you squeeze it just right. What did Sugar get? Well, she really liked hers. Before she even opened her present, she took off like we agreed. I went to see what she got, but she wasn't about to show anyone. As it turned out, she got a really neat multicolored mallard duck. Funny thing though, somehow I ended up with Sugar's mallard duck and she got my gray goose. Anyway, I then fell into the pool because I wasn't watching where I was going, but I was fine. That's another story for another time. Daddy, we had so much fun. I can't wait until next year.